Why did the Congress party and the Congress president go to this particular constituency of all the 543 that are there in the country? Yesterday, Rahul Gandhi was asked a question about it and he said, I want to send out a message to the people of South India uh, who, according to him, have been left behind by the Modi government or are not being taken on board by the, by the Modi government. He wants to send a message to those people uh, and, and that's why he's decided to contest from Wayanad. So Wayanad is right here, it's constituency number four. Uh, it is right at the tri-junction between Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and, uh, uh, and, uh, and Kerala, of course. This is, this is the constituency of Wayanad, constituency number four. This is Kerala, this is Karnataka, and this is Tamil Nadu. So what the Congress party, what the Congress party is hoping to do and what Rahul Gandhi is hoping to do is by contesting at a seat like this, Vayanad, which is on the tri-junction between uh, three states, he's hoping that it will have an effect in these two constituencies. This is Chamraj Nagar in Karnataka. This was again a Congress uh, held seat in 2014, remarkably in the middle of the Modi wave. This is constituency number 21, which is Mysuru. Mysuru, of course, uh, being won by Pratap Simha uh, of the BJP, a journalist turned uh, uh, member of parliament. And if you come this side to Tamil Nadu, uh, it is the Nilgiris constituency, which is a, a very interesting constituency because Nilgiris is, is from where A. Raja of the DMK is contesting. Uh, he, of course, lost big time in 2014 on the back of uh, the, the 2G scam. He was one of the main accused, uh, the former telecom minister. So what Rahul Gandhi is hoping to do by contesting from constituency number four is to address this tri-junction uh, that it'll have some kind of a ripple effect both in Karnataka as well as uh, in Tamil Nadu. So that is the strategy. Let's see how that plays out.